I'm Christine Divin of District 7 and uh, it is a gallery. We call it a flexi space. We do a lot of things. My partner in crime, is, his name is Miko Detronic and... Uh, Hi, my name is Miko. Well, I'm part of District 7. We, our main project here is called the Mannequin Forest. Basically, it's, it's using mannequins and we're reanimating them. So the Mannequin Forest is basically a philosophical thing that is a commentary on the way the media programs us. And yes, lots of electronics, uh, lots of late nights, and this is Gorilla Girl. Why do we call her Gorilla Girl? We had a talking uh, teacher, or, or actually it's a talking uh, computron uh, as her voice box originally. And the talking voice box uh, had a glitch point that would always seem to come up with gorilla. It would say gorilla, re repeated, uh, gorilla, gorilla. So we ended up just calling her Gorilla Girl. And this is what she is today. She has two different sensors. And this sensor is causing her head to swing back and forth. And then, when you're standing in front of her, she has a camera in her antenna. It's actually feeding onto this mannequin. So as you stand and you look and try to understand what she is doing, this mannequin that we have yet to name is actually showing you the footage of what is happening here. And so you have a, a very disruptive and uh, disconcerting response where you're doing this, and then you see yourself here. And then you see yourself on the various televisions, the video is being fed in multiple places. And so we mean this to be something that makes you keep turning around and around and understanding that you're an entire interactive forest of mannequins that are all allowing you to create art with them. We wanted to go for kind of a, a stuttery motion so that it wasn't natural, so it was kind of uh, distracting to people when they were having a conversation with these inanimate objects that sort of represented the human form but didn't move naturally like a human form. The mannequins have limited motions but as kids approach they don't realize what's about to happen and they get a spook and a surprise. You're a cyborg. <laughs> I am a cyborg. And, and this is our cyborg friends. What we're trying to encourage is we want kids to come up and see this and start to ask questions. You know, I think a lot of kids are programmed to play video games and to not think for themselves. What is this television doing? What am I looking at? What is causing this television to do this? And what is this art piece about? And how did you make this? How did you come up with this? What started you? How can I do this?